Well, in the last few weeks, Reality Check has been telling you about the dirty tricks being used in the race for the Republican nomination, specifically the contests to get delegates for each of the four remaining candidates. Tonight, how political operatives in Washington state are trying to game the system. Ben has the Reality Check you won't see anywhere else. Well, I've already shown you video out of Missouri where GOP officials attempted to railroad the selection of delegates at the St. Charles Caucus. And I also showed you video out of Athens, Clark County, Georgia, where state officials steamrolled over caucus goers by forcing an unapproved slate of delegates down their throats. Well, now comes video out of Washington State where local activists attempted to game the system by creating what they called a unity slate. Here's some of that video. You are about to elect delegates to the state convention. Right. And who that is depends on your vote. Now, most districts don't have a majority for any of one of the three major candidates for president. None of them have majorities. So we looked at that and we said, why don't we create one group of people that represents all three campaigns, representatives from every three campaigns, and we'll put them on a list and we'll ask all three campaigns delegates, you, to vote for them. So let me catch you up on what's going on here. This is at the Pierce County 2nd District Delegate Caucus. The man in the video is Alex Hayes. He's the executive director of Mainstream Republicans of Washington. It's not the same as the official Washington State Republican Party. Let's be clear about that. Hayes is trying to convince caucus goers to vote for a unity slate. He says he wants delegates who are Romney, Gingrich, and Santorum supporters to form a coalition in order to block the delegates of Ron Paul. Listen. We didn't do this until we saw three legislative districts get taken over in King County by the Ron Paul folks. And we saw how they were willing to behave. So at that moment, we decided we had to be a bit more careful. And this represents that commitment being more careful. Now, to be clear, taken over by the Ron Paul folks? In King County, Paul supporters have shown up in large numbers, and they are winning, through the process, the delegate slots. Hayes, who says he is presenting this unity slate on behalf of the Romney campaign, says that he must do so because of the savagery of Paul supporters. Most years, we're not forced to do this. But this year, we have been forced to do this because of the savagery of the opposition we're facing. And so that's a pretty strong phrase. But if you had seen what it is like when they prevail and they take control, it is very bad. Andy Jacobson, who was at that Pierce County Precinct meeting, says most people were confused about that unity slate. As they're starting the meeting, they're passing out this unity slate. So, it, and, and, you know, it was the weirdest thing because it looked like it was coming from the people who were actually leading the meeting. In my case, that was not the case, as I understand it, in, in other districts. But in the 28th, it was pretty apparent that it was coming from the leadership of the meeting. So the plan in that one precinct in Pierce County, it apparently worked. But what exactly does that mean? Here's what you need to know. Alex Hayes, who said in that video that he's supporting Romney, well, he may have actually duped those caucus goers by pretending they had a common enemy in Congressman Ron Paul. Apparently, the Santorum National Campaign, they were pretty upset when they heard about this unity slate. You see, the strategy appeared to be that they were going to block Ron Paul from getting delegates. Well, why would you do that? As I've told you, despite what most of the media is saying, Paul was winning huge numbers of delegates in Washington, Iowa, Maine and Alaska, in Colorado, Minnesota, Nevada, and Missouri. But Rick Santorum is not, and yet, he has said that his strategy nationally is to prevent Governor Romney and any other candidate from getting to that magic number of 1,144 delegates needed before the convention in August in order to secure the nomination. So the unity slate it doesn't help Santorum at all. It actually weakens his position by sharing delegates with Romney, which is why, from what I've been told, the National Santorum campaign has put the word out, no more unity slates. And that is Reality Check. If